Welcome to Project Promenade. Oh, shit. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. Jack, you know asking for her help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not, strictly speaking, legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. We need to keep pushing forward, Jack. That's just the Cronon conduit initiating. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? Fix stable. What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. What's happening? really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. Jack. What? You didn't say zero. Come on, man. We need ground rules. For okay, things. you turn. I'll follow. Close enough. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. It's a fucking time machine. I'm going to be the first, Jack. 
you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Jack, it's time. This is a lot to take in. Give me a second. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. <laughs> what? How? It's... <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's... There's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's... He's... He's me. A future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it! Fucking incredible. I mean, just... Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul, what are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here, it's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's, that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. What are you doing? Oh no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 stop him! Shut up! Hold, hold on, the core. hold on. We can't shut it down, Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up, Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. For what? I gotta let you out. You okay? I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. What the hell? 
This is crazy. Well. Well. I didn't want to leave Paul, but there was no way to help him. I didn't know where he'd end up. Keep moving. No! That was the first time my power started to manifest. An out-of-control burst of energy that saved Will. Jack, your proximity to the pulse, it, it must have altered your relation to the chrono. Will, what I just did back there, what the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. What? Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time, and door. Uh, what? Locked. They cut my security clearance. <laughs> uh, that didn't help. Stand back. I'll get it open. HQ, securing the server room. Over. More of them. Hide. They're coming in here. I warned Paul about this, about the calculations. I tried to make you listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is always Shh. you. You. This doesn't make any sense. How? Why are you even here? That's your biggest concern right now? Backups on route to flush him out. Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even?
No context for any of this, Jack. You weren't here. A lot happens in six years. This is bigger than us. Can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I, I'm sorry. Right. Better at the door thing. Will, get out! Oh god! Target's armed! Opening fire! We're getting down! Yeah, I know it. Are you okay? I think so. But Jack, that was... I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. I'd been in a couple tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. Not good. This is not good. Wait. It's coming down. Hide! Not again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do this. You can do this. These guys are wearing mud. What the hell is mud on fire under this? You! For once, this isn't my fault. Time's acting up again. No surprise. We have to go. Team, have Jack and William Joyce been detained? Did you hear that? They know our names. They knew we'd be here. They must be after the machine. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix the fracture. I... I need... We need to get to my car. Okay, just, just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. But now you're saying we could fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What's the... Okay... What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was still frozen. Stunner. She was right. About the fracture. About all of this. We 
don't know how long this will last. Let's go. Where's your car? This way. Look at this. She's terrified. What are you doing? I'm gonna get her moving. She's not in freezing. It worked on you. Why isn't it working on the others? I don't know. It may have to do with chronon exposure. Look at them all. It's a goddamn invasion. What are they doing? Why? They're taking everybody, every witness to what they've done. We can get to the parking lot through the lecture hall. You said you were prepared for this, that you knew it was going to happen. How? Beth Wilder, it's complicated. I'll explain in the car. No, no, my car, the patrol in the parking lot. <laughs> 